Hey everyone, Jesse with Farming Seattle. Just gonna do a video today, uh, potting up some cuttings from this aquaponic system. As you can see, we have fish in the bottom. It pumps water up into these top two beds. And in some of these beds, I have perlite that, um, I've shown the video on how to build these, but basically it's just perlite at the bottom where the water level is, it's uh, uh, lava rock. So we have multiple pots full of all these plants. And this one was, at one point it was kind of overflowing a bit and the water just wasn't flowing out fast enough. So the water level was too high and I think it killed some plants because everything was getting too, too wet. But in this case, I have a bunch of hydrangeas that have been in here for, I'd say, uh, at least a month, maybe two months. And uh, we can kind of see what the process is for actually pulling them out. And you can see how big the roots are um, and everything. And I think this is a grape. So you can always um, pull up on these items and if they give resistance, then obviously they have some roots in there. And the best way is just to dig underneath and then you can kind of pull up the roots. You're not pulling too hard on the actual plant. So this is a, um, a black elderberry, and you can see it has roots. We're gonna take that one. Pretty much everything in here should have some roots of some sort. Um, here's a grape cutting. It's pretty good size roots. And these, I can't remember, if, these are actually new growth grapes. And they're growing so well that they're kind of getting caught up in the lava rock at the very bottom of this thing. Pull out a couple more. Um, hydrangeas are another plant that do really well in this type of system. Is that hydrangea for you? That's kind of my main three. Um, so once they have a root system that's big enough just like that, I'll go ahead and take these, all of these, and we'll go back to the uh, potting up section. And what I have here are, um, I have some tiny pots, I just got them off Amazon, I think you can get like a hundred of them for $15 or so, um, along with some of this organic compost mix, or organic potting soil mix. Um, you can kind of see what it's made out of. Seems like there's a lot of uh, wood chips or something along those lines in there. So it holds moisture pretty well. And I'm gonna try and shake off as much of the, uh, the perlite as I can and then put these in there, cover them up, and make sure that they're in the shade and water really well uh, for about two weeks or so. Let's see if I can get off as much as I can. And then as soon as you see new growth on these plants, they should be basically good to go. So there you go. Um, I'm also selling these plants right now. It's a uh, aug almost August. It's the uh, middle of July in Seattle, so if you're interested just comment below and I'm in North Burien, so that'll work out. Do a couple more plants. Just kind of make sure that they're firm in there. But definitely the best part about the aquaponic system is that you're able to create as many new plants as you want. Certain varieties work better, obviously, um, but the system itself will pay for itself because you get all these free plants and you can sell some. Um, do what you will, use the rest in your garden. done anything from 
thornless blackberries, hydrangeas, elderberries, willow, you name it, pretty much. A lot of plants do really well with that, that type of growing. And as long as those perlite plant or pots don't get too, uh, too much moisture, um, like I had, you don't really get a lot of failure. It seems like it's better than the lava rock beds that I have as well. And the last, but not least, this one. There you have it. So just like that, we have five plants ready to go. I did all these ones earlier. I have elderberry, blackberry, uh, thornless, blackberry, um, and hydrangeas in there. So if you're interested in the Seattle area, I'm in North Burien. These are five bucks a piece, or if you buy multiple, uh, you can get a discount on that. So that's the process that I was gonna show you guys today. And you can kind of pot up plants as you see fit. I have all these hydrangeas left over and all the plants in the other beds. So thanks for watching, and I'll do some more videos later.